Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Haunting Grounds, apparently. Um, I've never played this game before. However, I have heard some very, very, very good things. I know this game has a cult classic following. Uh, it also flopped pretty hardcore when it actually originally came out. Uh, it was developed by Capcom. And I think at one point it was supposed to be a Resident Evil game. No, I'm wrong. At one point, it, this was supposed to be Clock Tower 4. Uh, but due to the commercial failure of Clock Tower 3, which is a game that I haven't actually played, although I've heard that it's not bad, Clock Tower 3, I did, I did hear that it wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't Clock Tower, uh, The Struggle Within, which... Well, that was a rancid piece of dog shit, wasn't it? But yes, uh, Capcom bought Clock Tower and made the third one. And then they were making the fourth one, which was going to be this. But they decided to take this in its uh, uh, own unique little way. <clears throat> now, I've heard this is kind of a unique survival horror game. There's lots of sexual undertones, uh, lots of creepy kind of themes going on in this one. Uh, I know you play as a girl in a castle running away from a big fat thing at some point and you have a dog. Um, and that's basically everything I know. Uh, I have been told that it's a pretty damn good game and it is a must play. Sadly only on the PlayStation 2 an actual physical copy of this game will set you back a disgusting amount of money, triple digits, um, or you can just beat the system and download the game. Like me. Um, so, let's go. New game.
That was a pretty... Ooh, it chucks us straight into it. That was a pretty bloody cool uh, introduction, actually. So, uh, I just want to put that... Uh, put the terrible things I saw back there behind me. I'm not going back. Well, um, unnamed young lady, I have a feeling our troubles are only just starting. I have a feeling this is going to get gonna get way worse before it gets better. Um, right, so we're a young woman, naked, wearing a towel, I guess, curtain, something, who has woken up in a cage uh, with some strange Uncle Bad Touch type character cooking her lunch, breakfast, dinner, or maybe just about to, you know, cook her. I don't know. Um, luckily... The big pervert apparently is scared of lightning and decided to, you know, fuck off and uh, leave the cage open for us, which is great. So where the hell are we? Apparently there was a car crash at some point. And one thing I can say from that um, introduction cinematic is this is a big budget thing. That was a very, very impressive um, cinematic for the PlayStation 2. Ooh, absolutely gorgeous. Alright, well, we've got these, like, red pots everywhere. I don't think we can actually seem to do an awful lot of much of those. Ah, looks like there's an item here. So, circle, or B, as I'm using my Xbox Elite controller, opens doors. Chamomile. Us rabbits, dude. Can we like do anything with the rabbits? Nope. Peter has disappeared into the ether. Okay. Uh, so it looks like some kind of like farm area there. I suppose they they raise their own food. Do we have? So this is our menu. Chamomile. Type of herb completely restores lost stamina. Okay. So, is stamina health? So we do get a map, that's nice. Uh, ooh, comment. Where am I? I was in a car with my parents and I... Uh, it's no good. Everything seems so fuzzy. Okay, so, oh okay. So we can throw and set things. We can crouch, back step. Alright. Although, we can't do any of that stuff yet. I'm guessing this is some kind of, like, I don't know, tutorial phase or something. Well, this place looks rather fancy. There's a weird filter over the screen as well. Everything looks like kind of like dreamlike and hazy. Hoping the whole game's not going to be like that. It's bolted shut from the other side. I'm not going to be able to open this. Okay. So I guess maybe we can come through the other side there. I wonder what kind of room is on the other side. I can see the light flicker from the candles inside, but it's too dark to see anything else. Hmm. So we need to get inside, really. And uh, I think... Yeah, it's just going to say the same thing. I think we are really pushing the limits of how stable this bed sheet is. Hopefully we can find ourselves some nice clothes or something. Well, here we go. We've got a door. Best thing to do with the door is open it and go inside. Ooh. Okay. So... I can't just walk a... Uh, uh, around all day, holding these sheets around me. Can we old-fashioned? But I prefer a normal set of clothes to these bed sheets. Yeah, yeah, I, I can understand that. Okay. Well, that's not creepy.
I've gathered some clothes for you. Uh, um, uh, um, wait, don't go. Um, excuse me, but where are we? How did I get here? Yes, Master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. Hmm. Okay, that's really unsettling. So, there was a strange woman who's given us some clothes. Uh, well, let's get changed for now, I suppose. There's a change of clothes that the maid has apparently laid out. The maid, that's a maid. I mean, I guess she was referencing the painting as a, her master, which... Uh, well, that's questionable, but okay. Let's uh, get changed. Let's see what we've got going on here. Her character model is fantastic. Oh. Oh, no. So someone's watching her get changed. Well, being in the car with who and that is a very questionable outfit but I guess it's better than a bed is it though is that better than a bed sheet uh, yeah okay sure at least we don't have to worry about that falling off however it doesn't it doesn't really cover much but you know that's fine uh, that worked what worked the fact that you put clothes on the clothes worked. Excellent. We like it when clothes work. Now what shall I do? If I could just find a map of this place, then I could get my bearings. Alright. Ah, okay. You're now able to perform the following uh, new actions in the game. So, squares kick. Use this to smash certain background objects, or to stun some enemies. Triangle. Throw some objects after equipping them. Or place them down on the ground. Okay. L1 is crouch. Use this to crouch down in the shadows and make it harder for enemies to find you. So this is going to be a stealth game, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, quickly jump backwards to avoid the enemy's attack. This maneuver, uh, Use this maneuver too much and your stamina will decrease. Uh, pushing background objects. Some background objects can be moved by pushing to the, uh, the left analog stick in the direction. Okay, in the direction. Yep, okay. Charge. After running for a few seconds, push the square button to tackle an enemy. If you're able to hit the enemy with this move, you can shove them out of your way. But you will lose a large amount of stamina in the process. So, is stamina our health, or is it like a stamina bar? 
Right. So that's the kick. Okay. X is run. That's the tackle. Alright, tackle's gonna be a bit funky. Because you have to get up enough speed. Um, okay, so... Okay, the back, back step. It's very responsive as well. What did we play uh, not too long ago? Where you can back step, but it was literally useless because it... Oh, look at that! Right, so she gets a little bit tired after performing too many actions, which is fair enough. Um, yeah, what did we play? Tormented Souls, where you have that back step ability, but it's like absolutely fucking useless. And that's the crouch. So we can literally just crouch when needed. Alright, so let's start having a look around our room anyway. What a powerful piece of art. The eyes really feel like they're peering deep into one's soul. Yeah, well, they certainly look deep into you when you're getting changed. Uh, I guess somebody is there. There is a pair of scales lying here. It looks like their purpose is more of decoration than actually weighing things. Okay. That's no good. That's no good, damn it. I hope this TV works. Uh, well, I mean, it works, but it's obviously not tuned into anything. Okay. There's an antique doll lying here. Yeah, well, that doesn't really help us in our situation, does it? The man pictured here has a noble air around about him. I wonder how long ago this portrait was painted. Well, we don't know. Oh, do we have, like, some more thoughts or something? Ah, I guess she is one of the maids working here. She's so beautiful. Almost too beautiful. It almost seems unnatural. It feels like it was custom tailored to fit me. It really clings to my shape quite nicely. Although it feels a little tight in the chest area. Hmm. Maybe they were expecting you. And I guess this clock is a save sp uh, station. So, yep, I actually got to this part of the game before when I was testing the emulation. So, ah, uh, there's not a lot we can do outside. Let's see if we can go through here. And why are we being kept comfortable? And for who? Oh. So, let's try and find a map. Oh, I'm guessing that's very tight around the chest there. Not a lot of support, if you get my drift. They really put a lot of effort into that, didn't they? Um. Ooh. <gasps> Is this blood? Well, it's not Chris's blood. Ooh. What's going on? What's going on with the visuals? Kind of strange. Right, so we've got a locked door. Okay. I'm hoping... Wait, does the map fill in as we go through? No. Map does not fill in... Oh, what's that? Nothing, apparently. Oh, we can hear a doggo. Not in here, though. A massive book stands stalwart. Looks quite old. Perhaps it's an antique. Well, fill your pockets. I guess. Oh, right. We don't have any pockets, do we? Desk is locked. Both sides? So I'm guessing we need to find a key. Or a crowbar, or something. Good to know. There is something scribbled on the board. Luminescents are tiny creatures that respond to the ethereal energies given off by Azoth. They can be used to help track down nearby Azoth. However, several precautions must be taken while handling them. 1. When luminescents come into direct contact with an Azoth-infused item or being, they send forth a small charge which shocks the carrier. The higher the concentration of Azoth in said carrier, the greater and more powerful the shock. 2. 
Luminescent's lifespan is dramatically decreased whenever they come into direct contact with the open air. This time differs from specimen to specimen, but this is never much longer than a few minutes. Luminescence, asshole? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Various formulae and uh, computations have been scribbled on the desk. This goes way beyond something you would learn at the college level. So, are we a college girl? Hey, we got some lavender. Nice. What does lavender do? Slowly reduces panic. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, clock tower. Clock tower influences. Big time. Oh, can we kick the desk? No. Yes, we can't kick the desk. Ah. Not to state the obvious, but this clearly is the castle study. So I'm guessing... Like, we could hide here? Maybe? Alright. <gasps> Whoa. Uncle Bad Touch. Yeah, why well, play with a toy when you have the real thing, I guess? Uh He's scratching his knob, seriously? Fuck's sake, man. Right. Does this count as hiding? He's sniffing. Yes. Where is you? Where is you, you dirty bastard? Piss off. That's right. Away with you. So he really is some dirty old bastard that just wants to cop a fill. Uh, well, uh, probably significantly more than just cop a fill, actually, but let's not go too far into that. Ah, shit. Right, so he is literally... So we're going to have stalking enemies, apparently. Alright. Um, so we have... One area... That is safe. I mean, I say safe. <laughs> Ooh. That's not nice. It's like some kind of alchemy lab. Interesting. Can we... Ooh. Right, so we can... And break those red pots. It's kind of good to know, I guess. Such tremendous heat. With heat like this, I'm sure it's used for refining. Yes, but ref... Ooh, hello. But refining what? Well, I guess you never know to try, but I figured as much. There's no way someone my size is going to move something this big and heavy. Do we need to get, like, Uncle Bad Touch to come in here and, like, push it out of the way or something? <coughs> so I guess it's just those uh, red pots that we can smash. There is some kind of file here. You've obtained the old parchments. Okay, so I guess we can go into our inventory and... 
or parchment. A deciphering of the Book of Origins. Uh, who the fuck is Sefuru? Has uncovered the process for creating life from earth soil. Life from earth soil. So, is Mr. Unky Bad Touch out there? Is he like some kind of flesh golem? Oh, this golem needs not nourishment nor sleep, making it the earthen guardian. The ultimate safekeeper of our deepest alchemic secrets and knowledge. I dubbed this creature Emeth. Or Emeth. Is that the thing walking around out there, or is that the Earth Golem? I guess we're probably going to find out. What kind of equipment is this? It looks old, but somebody has taken painstakingly good care of it. Yeah. Alright, so I don't know what those red things are. I guess maybe some of them contain things? I also don't know where Uncle Bad Touch has gone. So I'm not sure whether we want to go back this way. So having that kind of panic um, Yeah, we can save the game here. Having that uh, I think we can save it here, yeah. Having that panic system in the game, I mean, that is directly straight out of Clock Tower. So, there's the Clock Tower influence pretty much straight away. Um, this is different, isn't it? This is really different. It's very dark, and yeah, there's going to be some serious adult themes here, I think. Uh, I don't know if we're ever going to find a way to actually attack. I don't think a little, you know, kick is going to do much against that flesh golem thing. I guess that's Emeth that's running around. I don't really know. So, there's some kind of alchemy going on in here. And they're kidnapping people, I guess. But there's more to it than that because our outfit that we have has been tailor designed for us so maybe it's not so much they're kidnapping people but we're waiting for us I don't know we're gonna find out anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time